Okay, I wanted to walk you around the kitchen one more time. Made a few subtle changes on Saturday. And I wanted to memorialize them in a video. Right here is going to be a pull-out filler. A small one, just three inches. It's going to look like this guy here. You'll be able to put small spice drawers. And these are adjustable shelves. You can pull them out and you can also adjust them in height. So that's what's going to the left of the stove right here. Then we're just going to do a blank filler on the wall cabinet side to the left of the microwave. And we have a cabinet over the microwave, a 9-inch cabinet to the right of the microwave, a standard diagonal wall cabinet. These are 36 high upper cabinets and we're going to bring the crown molding to the ceiling. Hopefully your ceiling is fairly level. And then we have a Super Lazy Susan, a smaller one. This is a 33 wide Lazy Susan. The tray will be shaped like this. There's two of them actually that spin independently. Shaped some sort of a, like a Pac-Man. And it'll be on a fixed shelf. So you'll be able to put uh, a decent amount of weight there. This cabinet here is a tray base. You're going to put uh, cookie sheets on a vertical on this cabinet. And then you can see we have a uh, draw base here with three drawers. And of course, we run into your pipe chase right here. To the right of your pipe chase, we have a standard base cabinet. We've removed the farm sink. We have a filler here. We got the dishwasher. Another filler here. And we have a refrigerator panel. To the left of the refrigerator panel we have a wall cabinet that will have a door prepared for glass. And then I've got a line item for the glass in the estimate. You can see the crown molding again going to the ceiling. That's the idea. And then we have a 36 inch wide upper. You, I think, are going to purchase a counter depth refrigerator. And you do realize that when you swing this door open, it is going to likely hit the windowsill. So you won't be able to get the refrigerator door open, at least this door right here, open all the way. The drawer should work, and this door here should be able to swing open all the way. The door style that I've that uh, you selected is right here, and the one that I've priced out is right here. It's a shaker-looking door. It's going to be in white and they call it a standard overlay as opposed to a full overlay. Standard overlay just shows a little bit more of the face frame which is right where I'm drawing these red lines. Uh, full overlay shows less of the face frame. You don't see so much of the face frame. We have the standard overlay. Let me know if you have any questions about this design or the estimate.